Now, Chris Cox is a 26-year-old comedian from the UK, touted by the Guardian newspaper as one of Britain's biggest talents. Cox calls himself a mind reader who can't read minds and has made a name for himself by telling people exactly what they're thinking. David Farrier met Cox in Auckland to find out how he does it. I don't know. It's kind of like baking, I suppose, in some respects. If you put this amount of yeast and this amount of water in, you will get this loaf. Yeah. And therefore, people in some ways are the same. And that if you do this to someone and this to someone, then in theory they will respond like this. You are not human, you're a miracle. I went on stage with Cox recently and was blown away by how he got inside my head. Cameraman Billy wasn't a believer, but he was quickly converted to Cox. What I liked here was this little relaxing, oh yeah, all right, I'll say the Queen. You were so relaxed about it, but you were way too obviously relaxed. I think you've done it, I think you've said what your card is. All right. I think it's the Queen. Yeah, this is, is it the Queen? The Queen of Spades, is that it? Yes, there you go. There you go. <laughs> we took Cox to Queen Street in Auckland where he used seemingly random questions to guess a random word on a page. Sitting or standing? Standing. But. Yeah. B-U-T, yeah? Sick. Conditioning or conditioner <laughs> or... Yes, what is it? it is. Conditioning. Conditioning. Amazing, excellent. Fucker. Cox says it all started when he got a magic kit when he was six. He also blames having no social skills and taking psychology at school. He did his first gig when he was 18. Fast forward a few years and Ricky Gervais was in the crowd laughing his head off. <laughs> it's the most flattering thing in the world, is um, hearing Ricky Gervais do his squawky bird laugh when you do a joke and him go, ah! He's a slight wee chap. If you end up on stage with him at Auckland's Herald Theatre this week, be careful. A New Zealand audience member has already broken one of his bones. The lady broke your rib. Uh, yes, the lady broke my rib. You was, what I happened? Got, um, I got overly hugged. Well, we didn't even get overly hugged. I got hugged. And a rib broke. And my rib broke. <laughs> Stroke cocks gently. David Farrier. Free news.